to all the cats. Hey Miko, how you doing? <gasps> Washes. Oh, we're such big friends. You never see all three together. We're being best friends. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Today we are going to be reacting to the first ever book haul I posted on my channel and seeing how many of those books I've actually read. I lost the hope today. I'm empty. The lighting is going to be our enemy today. We're just going to have to live with it. I look back and I went about like four months. I went until Christmas of 2019. Uh, until I had a book haul on my channel. I did not buy many books back in the day. Now, we have like one a month and they're bigger and I am ashamed. <laughs> I want to have read at least half. I really don't know what's gonna be on this list. I haven't like gone back and looked at the video. So I have no idea how many we're gonna get, but I'm hoping for at least half. I feel like I should get over half, really. Oh. I'm gonna be wearing my nice new headphones that I just bought. I've needed new headphones to edit my videos since like November <laughs> last year, but I hate spending money. I'm really, I'm not good at spending money. And so um, <laughs> I've been stealing my brothers for like however long. Oh my God, this lighting. Me to the sun. If you can't be my friend, just please don't be my enemy. Now I've finally got my own. I finally took the plunge. And aren't they so cute? Okay, so let me put these on. Before we get any further in the video, let me know what your prediction is for how many I'm I'm gonna have read. Why aren't you connecting? Tell me why you're not connecting to my laptop. Okay, we're connected. I'm gonna skip past all the rubbish at the beginning. We don't care about that. Let's just get into the books. I thought we would start really quickly. I'm not gonna go into super in depth with these with the books that I bought on my visiting loads of no. independent bookstores in London video. Oh, I did not put these in this video. Get out. This was my gift from Tom. It was like the most of them. Oh my god, no. I, I know I haven't read some of these. And it was such a fun day. Fuck! Um, and so, yeah, these are the books I put <laughs> out on that video. So the first one is Down and Out in Paris and London by George Orwell. Haven't this read it! <laughs> <laughs> haven't read Down Now in Paris and London by George Orwell. Here's the thing. We're gonna have a few more I haven't read because for some reason, despite the fact that I've hauled, I still do this. If I go book shopping and have a book shopping video and haul the books in that video, I still haul them in the main hall because we've got to maximize, you know, exposure of these books. <laughs> I spent my money on them, I'm gonna fucking talk about them. I cannot even really tell you the plot. I bought it because I kind of, for a moment there, wanted to be a George Orwell ho. Like, I wanted to be that kind of girl who, like, reads loads of George Orwell and, like, reads all his backlist. And it's, like, so intellectual. And now I read not that. <laughs> Are you not ashamed of yourself? This is one of those books that I generally don't know when I'm gonna read. Like, I have no plans to read this in the near future. I don't think you're gonna catch me reading this, like, within the next year. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, next one. Then from Persephone Books, I've got Fuck. two. One is Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson. This is essentially about a woman oh. who has a very mundane life and then one day it all turns upside down. And then it, there's No ah. Surrender by Constance Maud. This is, all I know really about this is that it's set during a suffragette movement. I haven't read either of them either. We're off to a bad start. We're off to a bad start. We've got some catching up to do. I don't even know what to say for myself. I really, I don't know what to say to myself. Here's the thing, Persephone Books, if you don't know, was this bookshop in London. I think they've now moved to Bath. They are this bookshop that's absolutely lovely inside. I, it was my favorite bookshop I went to on this day in London. Like it has this amazing vibe. It's republishing books from women in history that kind of went out of print, kind of got forgotten. So I loved the ethos of it. I loved the vibe of the shop. It was such a cozy, welcoming shop. Uh, however, Listen, they're classics, and it takes me about 20 years on average to get to a classic. Me looking at all the classics I've bought for the beautiful editions, but then I realise I actually have to read them. Is mugged you off, darling. 
Yes, McChewoff. Again, this was like at the point at the start of my booktube career where I was just buying books that I thought I should or that like, oh, maybe I'll be interested in reading this one day. And now it's too late. Like, I wish I had read these kind of immediately when I got them because I could have done that. And then I would have been like a free woman now and they wouldn't be sitting on my TBR shelf not knowing when I'm going to read them. The video that I'm hauling these books from is my most popular video I've ever done. And I have not read the books from it. So that's great. <laughs> and then I picked up two graphic novels Ooh. as well. The first was The Pretty ah! Dressmaker. I love Come the on, design sis? of this one. I cannot wait to get ah! it. Let's see what the second and one is before I talk. Because I think if I'm right, dressmaker. I've read it. And Next one. I also picked up ah! Laura Dean Keeps Breaking ah! Up For Me by Rosie ah! Valera O'Connell <laughs> and Mary. Oh, We're looking a bit better now. I have read both The Prince and the Dressmaker and Laura Dean Cakes Breaking Up With Me. These were great purchases. I really enjoyed both of these. I think they were kind of both around the four star mark. I have not been reading many graphic novels. I don't think I've read like barely any this year. I've definitely read Heartstopper Volume 4 this year, but I'm not sure I've read any others. So like the gag. They were both just so enjoyable and gorgeous in different ways, gorgeous art styles. And I feel like I'm missing a bit of graphic novelage in my current reading. I think maybe I need that to break up some of the other books I'm reading. So I need to start incorporating some graphic novels into other videos. Okay, I feel like that's all the books I hauled in that book shopping video. The next books that I'm gonna go through, I all received from my Amazon wish list, Aww. which is crazy. I see. Is If We Were Villains by oh. Mr. Rio. This was sent to me by Riley from Riley Marie. I have read If We're Villains by M.R. Rio. Oh, I haven't been keeping tabs of how many of these I've read and haven't read. Hold on, because I need to, filming Megan needs to know that. I read If We Were Villains that Riley very kindly gifted to me. Um, I didn't really like it. I didn't really like it. What is wrong with this girl? What is wrong with this girl? I think people either love one of and hate the other of The Secret History and If We Were Villains. And The Secret History is the book that got me back into reading. That's The the Secret History is the reason I'm sitting here today. Like, it's what got me reading again. So If We Were Villains just was not that bitch for me. It's horrible people, like, hating on each other. But they're not, they haven't got enough spice. They haven't got enough interestingness about them to me. They all blurred into, like, one, like, morphous, morphous? One blob. One blob. And then I next I received Great Goddesses by Nikita Gill. This is a poetry collection and this was from Jeanan. So thank you. You so can't safe. touch me. <laughs> okay, we're actually doing well now. Now that we've got out of those classics that I bought when I was obviously not in my right headspace. I have read Great Goddesses. I can't remember much about it. I think it was kind of like a 3, 3.5 for me. It wasn't bad. I do want to read more of Nikita Gill's poetry. It's poetry that's very much inspired by like Greek gods and goddesses, well goddesses in particular. It was nice, easy poetry. I read it in like an hour, but I don't, I don't think about her. You know, she sits there on my poetry shelf, but it wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't love it. She wasn't that bitch. But she was fine. Next from Angel, I'll link everyone's channels down below, by the way, who has one. Is that what um, I think it is? She sent me Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. Oh my god, it's where it all began! Oh my god. Here she is, Heartstopper, volume one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, her. I actually just reread this for the first time ever. My top tier patrons get to ask for a personalized video every month. And most people ask for like book recommendations and stuff, but um, one of my patrons, Anna, was like, read Heartstopper again. <laughs> So I reread Heartstopper for a little personalised video I did for Anna and it was such a great experience reading this again because just seeing where their relationship began and their like little facial expressions for another. Oh, is that up to five now? We've read five, haven't read three. Oh, your girl's fucking killing it. I have no I have no worries anymore. I've fucking I have fucking got this. Imagine if I've read everything in this video apart from those three books. Anyway. Wishful thinking. Yeah. You're a dreamer. You dream a lot in your sleep. No, not really. I know. Yes, you do. So next we have got my shining light. Nicole sent me the collector's edition of Six of Crows by Shut Lord the Rodrigo. fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's over there and it's stacked under like seven, eight 
book, so I'm not gonna get it. But I have read Six of Crows. I read that this year, so it did take me a little while to get around to it. It was one of the books that took me a little bit longer to get to, but I have read Six of Crows. She is that bitch. Six of Crows is kind of iconic. Like, it's kind of iconic. I think I gave Six of Crows four stars, I gave Crooked Kingdom five stars, but I love the characters in it. it yeah, but it did take me a long while to get to it. I, I remember being quite ashamed that it took me that long to get to it. Lee Bardugo does stuff to me. She does stuff to me. Not the original Shadow and Bone trilogy, I kind of pretend it doesn't exist, but Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom and Ninth House, pure excellence. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and then Charlotte, who also has a channel, I will link it down below. Only one and sent me Crooked Kingdom! <laughs> Oh my god! Okay. You don't have to shout! So we won't, we won't speak about it for long. I've just fucking spoken about it. I did not know it was going to be after this. But I have read Kingdom as well. And lastly, we have a selection of books that were got for me by my family. These are actually all got for me by my grandparents. Aww. Who watch all my videos. I can't. So. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Anne and Ken. Hello again. I hope you're well. <laughs> Love you lots. <laughs> so the first book they got for me was Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Okay, I have read Illuminae. I have read Illuminae. It was one of my favourite books that I read last year. I gave it five stars. If you like watched my channel back in the day, you'll know that the Illuminae Files like was a five star series for me. Every book in that series was five stars and I just loved it unconditionally. But I don't speak about it <laughs> really anymore on my channel because Jay Kristoff has done some things that I didn't like <laughs> and I don't think he's apologized sufficiently for them. So I just haven't really spoken about any of his stuff on my channel since he did that. I'm not saying I'm never gonna read a book ever again by Jay Kristoff and I'm not saying people who are reading books by Jay Kristoff now or creators in particular who are reading books by him now are like bad at all but I just wanted to make the decision to like not really promote his books on my channel at least until there's been sufficient apologizing the stuff that he said I'll leave a link down below to the video where Jess Owens covered it because I think that will sum it up better than I can because I will just I'll get things wrong my old noggin is not very good at remembering specific facts unless I have <laughs> some props in front of me but yeah so I mean I loved Illuminae one of my favorite books of last year the whole series one of my favorite series ever but I just don't really discuss it anymore. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's gonna be too soon to say it. I don't know if it's gonna be too soon to say it, but I think I'm gonna have read every fucking book other than those first three. God, can I just say, I'm per I'm purposely not showing you much of me actually talking in this old reaction video, because Sis had no energy. Where's the flavor? Where's the flavor in this? I'm like, girl, what's wrong with you? Lighten up a bit. Like, I was speaking so shyly. I was still quite shy on my channel. I was still quite... I'm so shy. I'm so shy. But maybe one day I'll look back on me now and be like, that bitch is fucking annoying, so I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Well, I think that now, but maybe I'll think it even more in a future video. Who knows? And then next is Haven't You Heard by Marie Leconte. <laughs> Mm, oh, I thought I was gonna have read the <laughs> I have not read Haven't You Heard. Again, it's somewhere in that stack of fucking books over there. I have no idea where it is. It's missing. <laughs> it's not missing. It's over there somewhere. But I'm not about to go... Hello, tiny hands. Um, I'm not about to go try and find it. It's non-fiction about how politics works, particularly in Westminster in the UK, by a political journalist. Now, at this point in time in my life, I was much more interested in wanting to go into political journalism. Now I don't. Now I never want a traditional job ever in my life. <laughs> I'm still interested in it. It's still something I want to read because I am still interested in politics, but I just don't know when I'm going to get the chance to read that book. Then I received <laughs> Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha Nyang. Yes! I have read Girls of Storm and Shadow. Let me add it to the title. I absolutely loved Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyang. I enjoyed Girls of Storm and Shadow, but it wasn't like my favourite ever. But it is one of my favourite fantasy series ever, I would say. I just have a very soft like I have a very strong soft spot for it because of when I read it and it was when I was getting back into reading and it really brought me so much joy that series. The final book is coming out I think in November. I don't, I don't know I think it's coming out in November and I am terrified of the series ending. I really don't know how to feel about it. And then the last book I received 
was Middle Game <laughs> by Sean and Maguire. I had to get this. I have read Middle Game. I've read Middle Game. Go me. Honestly, go me. Honestly, I'm so proud of me. Honestly, Megan, you are excellent. Honestly, I should never have doubted me. I am so proud of her, I could cry. Another one of my favourite books. This this book haul had some really good books in it. Like, some really good books. What an amazing book. What an amazing author Shona Maguire is. It was such a clever book. But I'm really scared for the sequel to come out. Because I don't know how well it's going to lend itself to having a sequel. Like, I don't know if I feel that eventuality. But, I mean, I'm still going to read it. And I'm still probably going to love it. But I'm very nervous about it. So, I read. If my calculations are correct... And if, as long as there's not a different number up there, because it happens to me quite often, I miscount. But my calculations, I've read 10 of them, I haven't read four of them, which honestly, if that's true, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> honestly, truly, I am just, I am so happy. I did not expect that coming to it. I thought I was gonna have read like two of them, but I read a lot of them. It shows that when you buy less books, you do read them. <laughs> Get a J. That was so interesting to go back and look at what kind of books I was buying then. I think a lot more fantasy. I haven't been buying as much fantasy at the moment, although I do love it. But I've been struggling to find fantasy that I love. And I'm honestly just sitting here in shock at the fact that I've read that many of them. So thank you so much for watching. If you've gotten to the end of the video, comment a hand emoji for middle game. That was the last book. Comment a hand emoji if you've gotten to the end. A massive shout out once again to my patrons. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, your names are on the side. And I can't thank enough watching to the end i love you i'll see you soon see you another one okay bye <laughs>